We all know that the Purge of Mandalore was a significant event, so significant that it even was mentioned in the Ahsoka series very recently when they talked about Sabine's family being wiped out during the bombardment ordered by Palpatine himself. What's interesting is that each and every time in these series, the bombardment of Mandalore keeps coming up, and more specifically, the obsession of Palpatine with Mandalore, which he did not feature during his days as a Chancellor, and then even even during early Imperial times, he was not focused on Mandalore that came slowly but surely as the Empire grew, to the point where Gar Saxon wasn't the only main player in Mandalore's Imperial plans, but Palpatine himself. And believe it or not, Darth Maul and Balin Skull both play a key significant role as to why Palpatine possibly started to get interested in the homeworld of the Mandalorian. So, Mandalore was first featured in Star Wars The Clone Wars series, and after that, it, it first made its live-action debut in The Mandalorian Season 3. During all this time, a lot of conflicts have taken place on this planet, which seems to raise a lot of questions. Why is this planet so significant? Just think about it. On the planet Mandalore, the most key figures in Star Wars history have been present. Palpatine personally went to Mandalore to confront both Darth Maul and Savage Opress. Needless to say, of course, Maul was once the leader of Mandalore itself, and even Ahsoka made her way to this planet too. So these are no slouches when it comes to Mandalore. These, a lot of important people and elements seem to surround this planet. But why is this the case? Well, if we go deeper and dig deeper, we're gonna find out possibly the real reason why Palpatine was so obsessed with this planet. You see, The Mandalorian Season 1 was the first to actually discuss the Great Purge, the events that subsequently led to the Imperials taking over. This actually was revealed in Ahsoka to have taken place after the Galactic Civil War, which has caused many to draw the connection between Mandalore's destruction and the Empire's Operation Cinder. This tragedy on Mandalore points towards a deeper and darker connection with other parts of the galaxy, more specifically Emperor Palpatine himself, since he, because if it took place during Operation Cinder, then you can clearly see that Palpatine had specific plans for the planet. During the Dark Times, Mandalore was actually overseen by Gar Saxon, who was known as the Emperor's Hand. He took over the role after serving Darth Maul's right hand during the Clone Wars, but he earned this nickname due to his dedication to the Empire and specifically to Palpatine. So this already shows you that Palpatine had a lot of vested interest in the Empire's rule on this planet, with an iron fist no less. Now, Operation Cinder targeted those places that had laboratories and observatories that needed to be destroyed if the Empire would fall. So, again, Mandalore falling seems to have happened as a part of Operation Cinder. This could very well be that because, as we see in The Mandalorian Season 3, this planet houses a secret base for Palpatine himself, now at the hands of Moff Gideon and the Imperial Remnant. Again, why would Palpatine have a secret base on Mandalore. This has led many to speculate that Mandalore, in fact, has some sort of a force nexus, perhaps even similar to Mustafar, a secret dark side vergence in the force. If the planet Mandalore has, has some sort of a dark connection similar to Dagobah and Mustafar, then only Palpatine and those trusted to him knew about it certainly, and would have had a lot of interest in this area. This idea is somewhat shown in the ending credits of the Ahsoka series, which names Mandalore as a part of the Purgle's migration route. The other planets on this map, Coruscant, Yavin 4, Dathomir, and more, have been known to have some, some type of force nexuses in the past. By putting Mandalore in this route along with these similar planets, such as definitely infers that Mandalore might also be some kind of a force nexus 
Nexus planet. This also goes hand in hand with the speculation that the Darksaber's crystal has originated from a Force Nexus cave on Mandalore. Given that the Darksaber is so different from any other lightsaber, it could very well be that the Blade's creator, Tar Vizsla, knew of this Force Nexus on Mandalore and that no one else did up until now. This could be why the Darksaber feels so heavy to some users and not so heavy to others. The pure force prowess found within this crystal is difficult for the average person to simply wield. Now, if you think only Palpatine had interest in this dark side nexus, think again, because this could secretly be revealed to be the interest of Darth Maul too. At first, it seems like Darth Maul plans for Mandalore might be part of his criminal empire, the Shadow Collective, but it also seems quite strange that he chose Mandalore for this task. If you think about it, Maul's throne could be anywhere at any time. His troops are pretty much by proxy, can go wherever and do damage wherever they can, and Maul could be in a hideout. But no, he chooses the planet Mandalore for a specific reason. If you think about it, there are many other planets that are much more rich in crime that Maul could thrive in, but Again, he chooses to be here. And I think this is the main reason why Palpatine had a vested interest in Mandalore after first discovering this Force Nexus for himself during the Clone Wars animated show. Yes, this is what I believe to be the truth, is that when Palpatine came to Mandalore to face Maul and Savage Opress, he definitely felt something. Something he hadn't felt before. After imprisoning Maul, as we see, in the Clone Wars animated show. In the comics, we see that the Shadow Collective releases him from this prison. But before that, Palpatine could have tortured him so much for information that Maul might have actually revealed to Palpatine as well what's the significance of this planet. Believe it or not, there's more evidence because in The Mandalorian Season 3, we already have big hints of dark side nexuses being present on this planet, most notably inside the minds of Mandalorian. Mandalore. Din Djarin is captured by what seems like a half cyborg, half creature that is extremely eerie for, for this overall tone of the series. While that cyborg creature was never really explained and its origins, it really seems like a dark side creature, something that would thrive within the dark side. Inside this place, Grogu even felt very down and struggled to use the force. In my mind, there is a clear opportunity here for The Mandalorian Season 4, where Dave Filoni could explain that Mandalore is not just the homeworld of the Mandalorians, but it's something much much more. Considering it houses a mythosaur too, there's a whole lot we need to be discussing. And if Thrawn finds out too, a lot of information coming out of Mandalore right now, I think something must be said about Palpatine's interests on this planet a long time ago.